Hi, it's Raspy McRasperson from the Seahawks mock game, which was a resounding 22 to three victory by the team with the starters versus the team that didn't have them. What a surprise. It was great to see fans. My favorite part was when they were booing Neil Downs <laughs> and then started cheering right afterwards. Make up your minds at the very end of the game. Uh, it's interesting to see how the offense is operating with tempo. I'm not allowed to say how, <laughs> classic, but I think that you will be impressed by it. I wonder if we'll actually see it in the preseason when that thing kicks off. Not a lot of offensive highlights. DK Metcalf had a nice catch down the left sideline on a deep pass from Russell Wilson. Chris Carson, when he's out there, he looks really good as I've been saying about during training camp. He looks as healthy as he has ever been. And I really want them to use him a lot this season as I outlined with uh, the old raspy voice from allergies on Friday. Defensively, there are lots of highlights. Uh, one of them, a poor Seahawks running back, uh, had a ball tossed his way, bounced off his hip. Kuna Ford picked it up and he ran it in for a touchdown. Lots of sacks. Carlos Dunlap had two of them. Kerry Hyder had one. Rasheem Green had one. Aaron Doncor had one. Really got a little sloppy in the second half of this game for both sides of the offense. As far as special teams, that's probably where we saw the best play of the game because Michael Dixon had a beautiful 55-yard punt, rolled all the way down to the two-yard line. Uh, Cam Sutton, tight end, he's like six foot six, had a nice little block punt towards the very end. And also, I uh, forgot to say this on defense, Akella Witherspoon had two deflections. Not really a whole lot that I can take away and feel very concrete about coming out of this mock game. It went by really quickly. I think the biggest thing is it's about time that we see people actually in the crowd back there at Lumen Field. I had a blast. And uh, we'll be talking about it more this week as Seahawks training camp continues on 710 ESPN Seattle. So make sure you're tuning into Danny Gallant, 7 to 10, and then Paul Galancho, 10 to 11.